No Diggity. Single by Blackstreet, featuring Dr. Dre and Queen Penn. From the album Another Level. B side. No Diggity. Billy Jean Remix. Released July 29, 1996. Recorded 1996. Genre RB, Link. RB Hip Hop. Length 503. Album version 427. Music video. Label Interscope. Songwriters Teddy Riley, Chauncey, Hannibal, Lenise Walters. Video album Another Level 1996. Featuring Dr. Dre and Queen Ken. Released on July 29, 1996 by Interscope, the song reached number one on a U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and in Iceland and New Zealand. It ended, Macarena's 14-week reign atop the Billboard Hot 100. In the United Kingdom, the song peaked at number nine. New Diggity was the final number one single of Cashbox magazine. The track sold 1.6 million copies. Another level is the second studio album by American R&B group Blackstreet. Released in September 10, 1996, it was the first album with new members Eric Williams and Mark Middleton. Eight, they joined the group after replacing departed members Dave Hollister and Levi Little. Nine, eight, Another Level was also the first Blackstreet album released under Interscope Records' new distribution deal with MCA Music Entertainment, Inc. after the company was dropped by Time Warner's. Holly Sai is the debut solo studio album by American hip-hop musician John Forte. It was released on June 23, 1998, on Rough House Records. The recording sessions took place at Huga Basement Studio in East Orange, at Chun King Studios, at the Hit Factory and at the Crib in New York, at Joe's Room in Conshohocken, and at Mayfair Studios in London. The production was primarily handled by Forte, as well as Minnesota, Praz, Salam, I, John is the second album by rapper John Forte. Four, five, it was released in 2002 on the indie label Transparent. Recorded while he was awaiting sentencing for drug distribution charges, Forte's album was arguably the most introspective, reflective, and experimental of his short career. Harmonize, rides a classic breakbeat and shows the styling that he employed so successfully. In My Mind is the debut studio album by American singer-songwriter, rapper, and record producer Pharrell Williams. The album was released on July 25, 2006, by Star Trek Entertainment, Virgin Records and Interscope Records. It debuted at number 3 on the U.S. Billboard 200, selling 142,000 copies in its first week of release. The album is also certified silver in the United Kingdom for sales of over 60,000 copies. In My Mind would go on to receive a nomination for Best Rap Album at the Hidden Figures. The album is the soundtrack album consisting of 10 original songs that accompanies the 2016 film Hidden Figures. The songs were written and produced by Pharrell Williams, who scored much of the songs in late 2014. Debut Studio Album, Justified, 2002, which features American hip-hop duo Clips. It was co-written by Timberlake and the Neptunes, Chad Hugo and Pharrell Williams, who also produced it. The song was released on September 16, 2002, as Timberlake's debut solo single, following the announced hiatus of NSYNC earlier that year. According to Williams, the song's drums were an ode to the funk era. The song peaked at number 11 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 1 music video, Background. The official music video was released on September 9, 2002, as featured in an episode of MTV's Making the Video. 30. It was filmed in Weston, Ontario, Canada, and was directed by Diane Martel from August 22 to 24, 2002. James, Marty, Kadelka, who created the choreography, can be seen dancing in the video. 31. As of April 2024, the music video has over 105 million views on YouTube. 32. Synopsis. The video is spliced into three parts. Justin Timberlake dancing outside a 7-Eleven store at night wearing a 7-Eleven shirt and red beanie. Timberlake inside an arcade wearing a leather jacket and snapback. And close-up shots of Timberlake singing to the camera. 33. Clips and Pharrell Williams both appear during Clips' rap verse in the arcade alongside Timberlake.
Ashanti is the debut studio album by American singer Ashanti, released on April 2, 2002, by Murder Inc. and Def Jam Recordings. It was recorded in New York City and Los Angeles between 2001 and 2002, during the period of time where Ashanti was fighting for other artists. The album features guest vocals from Gotti, Ja Rule, and the late Welcome to the Dollhouse is the second studio album by American girl group Danity Kane. It was released by Bad Boy Records and Atlantic Records on March 18, 2008 in the U.S. and March 25, 2008 in Canada. 1. Danity Kane recorded the album in under five weeks, while filming the second season of Making the Band 4 with fellow label mates Day 26 and Donnie Klang, first in New York City, New York, then in Miami, Florida. As with their self-titled debut album, Bad Boy consulted a wide range of producers to work with the band on the album, including The Stereotypes, The Runners and Flex and Hated as well as previous collaborators such as Brian Michael Cox, Danja, and In-House. Danity Kane is the debut album by American girl group Danity Kane. It was first released by Bad Boy and Atlantic Records on August 22, 2006 in the United States. After winning the third installment of the reality talent contest making the band in late 2005, Sean, Diddy, Combs and Bad Boy Vice President Harve Pierre consulted a wide range of high-profile hip-hop and R&B musicians to work with the quintet, including Timbaland, Danja, Ryan... DK3 is the third and final studio album by American girl group Danity Kane. It was released on October 27, 2014 by Stereotypes Music and Mass Appeal, in association with BMG Rights Management. 1. It was the group's first album in six years following their first disbandment, as well as the first album without original group members D. Woods, who left the group in 2008, and Andrea Fimbers, who left five months prior to the album's release, leading to the removal of her vocals on much of the material for DK3. Danity Kane reunited with production team The Stereotypes to work on the majority of the album, with producer Dem Joints contributing the song, All in a Day's Work. Upon its release, DK3 was very well received by critics, who praised the album's diversity and commercial appeal.